Well, if you were complaining in the last episode that the uh, Fatal Frame ep last Fatal Frame episode was too short, well, this is a long one for you. Welcome to part 14 of Res of uh, Fatal Frame, and oh, hello, little cheapy curry goat. Hi. Well, you wasn't pointing, so that's a bit weird. Anyway, if you were complaining that the last uh, episode was the wrong way. Yeah, I kind of noticed. Here it is. This is the next puzzle. This is the candle puzzle. This puzzle is necessary because it allows us to get to this very important item. And we have to solve this. Now, this is kind of a simple puzzle. What you do is press 4, 2, 5. And I want to make sure you get your attention, which I do. Yeah, stop. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. No. Four, oh, don't worry. I keep on forgetting the method for this 4, one. 2, 5, 4. And that's that. However, once you active complete this puzzle and pick up the prize, which is the demon tag scroll. Hello, bitch. Let's nice see you again. Not yeah, really. She, she appears a lot, doesn't she? Yeah, this is like. Let me see. This is appearance number. Four? Yeah, I think so. This is, the, this is her fourth appearance, and it's not cool. Also, I'm using thirty. Yeah. Unfortunately, the bitch attacks. Stop it. Off. Thank you. Okay, as before, just don't move anything and wait for your server to go after when you do that. You can do a lot of damage, etc, etc, etc. You know the drill by now. Sad thing is, she, she's the final boss of this night. No, she is. Minus. Oh, she gets a lot worse though, the more you go along. Yeah, this is like our fourth encounter with this bitch, and it's not much of a pleasant problem. Except this is a triple threat. When I say triple threat, we're facing off against three different bosses in this one, and the rest of the bosses are chibi as, of course, chibi the evil demon minions. Series. So both my minions and slay the big minion. Quiet, you. I'll get you eventually. I know I will. Big meaners. Oh, little meaner. That's you. Fluffy Kari. With the fur. With the fur and the tail. And the and the meanness. And the fire. Oh god it burns. Yeah, I have no idea what the fuck I was saying anyway. Go back to the doll room. Yeah. Say hello to um victim number two. And then of course the return. Of Chibi Kari of the Doll Room. Oh no, Woo! not. Oh no, not you again! It's the Chibi Kari of the Doll Room! She's gotta be my most favorite ghost. Yay, not mine. Well, the good news is. Yeah. Uh, get off of my leg, you miserable little so and so! Press fuck! Seriously, there's no hole in the floor so you can actually run around. Yeah, but she's got a bigger health bar. Yeah. And make sure that happens. Otherwise, she's gonna throw the paralyzed screen motion again. And oh, come on! Give me a fucking chance, you stupid little girl! Holy no, shit! I don't think she does. Whoa! Nearly dead. Oh, ho. close. And of course, will the Jimmy Curry of the room get me this time? I don't think so. Purification. And I beat this incarnation of Chibikari. Okay, I'm officially lost. Okay, there's, there was Chibikari of the well. Chibikari of the doll room. Of course, I would say Chibikari coming up, but the, but of course the Chibikari... But of course the guy and the kids are boys, so... Yeah. So... That's my brother. You have family? That's all. Of course I have family minion. I'm not your minion. Or do I have to keep saying that? I mean, seriously. I mean, you're s- I mean- Okay, now we at least we can take a picture graph here. This will reveal the death of the Chibikari of the doll room. Killed by the man with the long arms. Wait, what? Okay, I thought he was fucking harmless. 
So apparently he uh, likes to kill kids. Uh, no. In his description, it says that he kidnapped children because his daughter was a shy maiden. It has become the theory that his daughter was a shrine maiden that was selected and around about the time that the current blind woman was chosen and the theory in itself was that the demon tag ritual that took place with Kyrie also happened with the blind demon ghost that you are currently fighting so it's very possible that she chose the next shrine maiden and he kidnapped the child in itself. Interesting. But when everyone died, he started kidnapping more and more children. Essentially, yeah. So, now we're going back to this loading screen here. Now the reason is because I had to split the episodes into two. Because there's a very difficult ghost to catch. Well, he says difficult. Well, this kid goes past really quick. You only have one opportunity to shoot him. And it took me more than 20 fucking minutes to get it. Yeah, that was quite funny. <laughs> Not really. It fucking... I, I noticed that it took you a while to get the method. There are two areas you could get him in between the kimono, but you decided to just go straight forward. Which is actually pretty good, because it was actually the best position. Just gets the Oh, wow, one. the rubble room decided to shake violently. Oh, uh, well, that's... Rubble. Where the heck are you? I mean, you the rubble. You were You're just in, the, in rubble. the rubble room. The rubble room is the one with the camera closest to you, where you just came from. Well, I know that, but it decided to shake violently. What? Okay. Yeah. We are in back of the kimono room, so get into this particular angle. Wait for it to happen, and then take the picture, because the kid hiding, that's a very different. You can only get one opportunity. Just the one. Don't look at me like that, that's a difficult ghost to get. Uh -huh. and, he, and, he's, and he's worth 1500 points. So yeah. Uh, oh no, you're not fucking getting me this time. Well, yeah, that, that was a really difficult ghost. I mean, it took me like 15 minutes, I was like, YES! That was you difficult. You did a little bit of a cheer for you, just like a pause and going like, WOO! Exactly. So anyway, this is the lady's diary scrap, which actually, which is actually Yai's diary, because she mentions Mikoto, which is of course Kyrie's, which is of course our heroine's grandmother. Actually, it would have been more interesting as well, because if Mikoto would have been chosen as the next shrine maid, this ritual had continued. Actually, it's reckoned that she was, but she managed to. Escape. That's how she was able to escape because she was chosen as the next Shrine Maiden. Interesting. It, it's a weird fan thing. I don't. It it's seriously one of the few theories. I don't know if it's true or not, but that's mm. what one of the fan popular fan theories are. Yeah, back there where we saw the death of the freaking um freaking photo, uh, <laughs> you see Type seventy four film, and now you heard um Scampery, which means the ghost is nearby. And this is where the fail proportion of the video will begin short momentarily. <laughs> because it because um because now here's the thing. When the lamps sway sway on themselves, a ghost is near. A very powerful ghost. Oh at least that's what I kind of figured the theory is. So they see so this is basically we're gonna be facing a very difficult boss. Ugh, this is this is one run I'm not looking forward to. Yeah. Here we go then. This is this is where we this is where we headed back to the freaking dining room here. It's the back to the entrance area. And I'm really nervous for some reason. Because this is this is this was all in done in one take. So this is where you fight the final kid ghost. And it is, of course, the kid ghost inside. The grandfather clock thing. The grandfather clock, and I was thinking, who the, why the fuck is the grand, why the fuck would you get someone get killed in the grandfather clock? Where they hid. In, he hid in the grand, oh. And there it is, there he is, the final kid. Okay, this is a very difficult ghost battle. Very, very tricky. Well, I, unless you know how to catch him. 
Fortunately for me, I'm not a good expert. So, yeah. Hey, fucking get off me. I'm not getting you. Unfortunately, this was me not realising that you had to look at the fucking room. And well, gets... on the beams, despite the fact I told you a while back when I was fighting him that he does sit up there. I know. This is me not noticing. And I... Actually, hang on. I'm gonna pause my game for a second because I wanna see... Uh... Okay. Also, he... Sometimes... Oh, shit. I actually got... Actually, that was like that. Oh, crap. He's there. Shit, shit. No, 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 no! Ah! Oh! Oh, thank God! Nearly dead, <laughs> but I'm not. Thank you, Lord, for that. But as you know, I suck at these things. So. And place the blind mask in there. Open the door. Ah, shit! The fucker stuck up behind. Oh no! Wait, I dodged him. Successful dodging is successful. Hopefully, I got him in And yes, I got him. Zero shot. You, at least I got something right. I hope. Right, this is, this is the more dangerous part because he can actually fuck with you here. There he is again. He told you. And. No, he fucking disappeared. Bitch! <laughs> Bitch! I had it! I fucking had it! You. Game? You can't do this bullshit! Ah, oh, damn it! And at the 14 parts, I've lost my first spirit stone. Technically, this counts as a death. <laughs> but not a game over. Thank God it doesn't either. Oh, no. 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 Thank God there's a no. There's, there's, thank God there's no such thing as a chipified nail. Oh, fuck's sake, get, get up! I don't think he likes. I don't think he likes me calling you little fox demon thing. I don't know. And I go, yes, the bitch is dead. Now this is the more interesting because he's like, I want to get the mirror for this man. Two men come to mind. One is the folklorist. Two, Mafuyu. Yeah, I know. I, I don't know either. I mean, really, that's all I know. Yeah. So yeah, now we have the next, now we'll, you get the pressure seal. The pressure seal allows you to instantaneously get one back. Push ghosts back so you can take a quick picture. <laughs> I'm assuming that's how it works. Yeah. And, and of course, the shows the how the guy died, which is of course getting. You didn't get. It's not how he died, it's how he got whisked away, or spirited away. Oh, speaking of which, Howard. Yes. Chapter 3. Oh. Wait, you're on chapter 3 already? Yep. Oh, fuck. oh, by the way, I am now decided that I'm going to be sitting through all the cutscenes from now on, because I can't remember anything that happens in these chapters. Also, right. it gives Howard a chance to catch up. Okay, that actually kind of helps. Well, now that we got this out of the way, we're back at the freaking rope hallway again. Only this time, less big car. Oh, okay, there is no big car. That door there, no longer is covered by hair, takes you back to an optional room. The optional room, of course. Optional is battle, which Howard is going to hate. Yeah, but of course we go back to the entryway and what the? Okay. I am suddenly moving very slowly. What the hell happened here? No, really, why am I moving slow? I don't what? know. There's a big hole in the floor and I'm moving slow. What? Oh, that's probably due to frame rate. Ugh, that's bullshit. I should not suffer frame rate lag. That is bullshit. So yeah, we're going back to the rope hole because there's actually a couple of documents kind of hidden. Also, there's another sealed door, which is which is of course heading back to the end, which is back to the Tatami room. You see, everything has a reason why we're we're back here. So up we go, up the stairs. Right. Uh, yeah, this the 
now we get to see the room again. Hello, room. Take a picture, and it take, gives you a picture of a back to the room hallway, like this. Hmm. Yeah, this this ghost is vengeance. It's not much, believe me. Now we're just gonna have to look for a little bit of a documentation, another folklorist page. Uh, somewhere in the bookcases, I can't remember where. I believe it's this one, but I was recording, so I had no idea where to find it. Um, I don't think it. No, I think Yai's diary is in that one, the philosopher's one is further along. Uh, I, well, I think we already got Yai's diary, so. Well, the one we had previous. I think this is the folklorists. Uh, yeah. So far, we, we got rid of the demon tag part, so we're no longer focused on the demon tag, it's because we got the holy mirror, holy... Speaking of which, we got the piece of the holy mirror back, we didn't even comment on that, because the kid had it. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Um, you get one more, uh, whoopsie chip one, the... You bit. get one more at the end of this chapter. Which is a, a kind of a spoiler, which is kind of what happens to the, to the uh, philosopher. Oh, it, wrong way. Well, now we found it. The odd, the old diary scraps basically explains that Koto found the camera obscura, which is what we got here. Mhm. Mm so essentially, Yai was like feeling better and taking pictures of it all day long. Because that... she realised that it was something strange. That and also she did. Now I wasn't sure if the second one was major in this time. It's a bit. Iffy mm. on whether or not they knew to continue a bit more of Yai's storyhood behind this in the second game. But it does appear in the second game, she has clearly seen it, so it could be that she triggered it, triggered some memory, so she tried to figure out what it was. Well, then, well, here's the uh, Vengeance Ghost, which means that room is lockable again. So the so the game is taking us to the Tatami room once more, so we're heading back in that direction. But for now, we're going to be taking a look at here, which is of course the entryway. And apparently, this is apparently Kronikaris' frame rate dropping, and yet something fell through there. It's clearly obviously something fell through there. Also, this is where it gets Oh bullshit. yeah, something did fr fell through there, it's just in my copy of the game, I don't have that issue. It, it, this is bullshit. So this... it could be just general, because there's a lot of stuff going on that you're suffering from a bit of frame rate. But I... yeah, it's a bit of foreshadowing as well to a later point in the game to a bit of an optional stuff. Oh, that's not going to be a good thing. Well, we can't get out of here, so... Even a hundred years into the past, we still can't get out of the fucking house. Better. Nope. So, horrible medicine there, so Chibikara, even though you're probably like a hundred years old wearing a kimono now, be like... Nope. You're not getting out of this mansion easily. Why would I let you do that? I bring you to my summer home to clean up. But instead, you just keep making a mess and harassing all the other minions. You're not doing your job properly. I am going to enjoy kicking your ass later. I can feel it in my bones. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. I know I'm going to enjoy it. Right, we've reached the end of this eight, this lengthy minute thing. I hope you enjoyed the fail. Until um, next time. This has been Heavy Base X, that's Kari Okami, and the minion and the little bastard in the background was Chibikari. Laters. Laters.